and good morning everyone from well you can't really see anything but i'm at the golden gate again just because i think that this is the best spot for sunrise around here but we'll be going to different locations after this also i don't know if you can tell but the allergies have been killing me these past few days so i'm gonna be doing mostly a lot of driving today to different spots and just shooting from not too far from the car so i don't spend a lot of time out of the car and also as close to the coast as possible because my allergies are better when i'm close to the ocean it's uh, gonna be a long day hopefully a fun day and hopefully we can see or we can make some good images so uh, stay along with me and let's do it Ah, it's cold out there. This is one of the problems of uh, traveling light. I definitely didn't bring clothes for this kind of weather. Good thing I have the hat at least. I am much better prepared today though. I have my coffee here. I've already had breakfast, so I'm feeling much better than the other day. Uh, it's not foggy here on the bridge. I'm gonna wait just a little bit to see what it does. And if it doesn't uh, do anything interesting, I might just move on to the next location. Look, the sun is out. It's really beautiful here. The fog was uh, burning off really quick, so I just uh, moved on and drove along the coast all the way here to Bodega Bay. That's where I am right now. I came here yesterday. I came here with some family. We spent the day here at the coast. It was a very eventful day. We went to this beach and uh, I saw the, uh, these uh, vultures uh, on a dead sea seal. So that was something that I guess I don't get to see every day. It was uh, pretty cool. I tried to make a few images. The vultures were also like, showing off, you know, I guess they were claiming the, the seal for themselves, but it was uh, kind of cool. And I don't know if the images are gonna work out because I didn't have a chance to look at them, but it was very interesting. And then someone was stuck on a rock. Uh, they were trying to climb it for some reason. So a helicopter had to come and rescue them. So yeah, it was uh, very eventful, but I also saw the potential for some images here. So that's why I decided to come back. One of those images was of a church uh, that I saw my way here yesterday. I only got a glimpse. It was a uh, hard curve and the church was on the left. So I didn't have much time to look at it, but uh, it immediately looked so familiar to me. Like I, I had seen it before and uh, I still haven't checked on that because I didn't have much time, but I am 
completely sure that Ansel Adams made an image of that church and I know how he did it because I read his book where he explains how he did it. He made that image from the top of his car. Uh, this is something that he did very often. He used uh, his car. Uh, he had a you know, on the, on the roof, like a rock or something to, so he could stand there with his large uh, format camera, so he could get a better view of, uh, of the, uh, of whatever he was photographing. I believe that the, his image of the Snake River was made the same way from the top of his car. So that's uh, something that he did pretty often. And when I, I remember when I first read the story behind that image, uh, that I realized uh, that I could use the car as a tool for photography and not just a method of uh, transportation. There is nothing more flexible than a car for photography because you decide uh, where to go, when to go and how to go. For example, uh, when if you are doing photography from the car, from the side of the road, and I've done it many times, uh, some of my best images were made from the side of the road, there is no shame on that, uh, you get to bring a lot more gear with you. I can bring bigger tripods, I can bring the Bronica, I can bring a lot of film, I can bring big lenses and stuff like that. So that's another advantage advantage of uh, using a car for uh, photography. You can also bring other tools like boots uh, if you have to get in water or stuff like that. So yeah, I believe that cars are very important, are a very important tool uh, in photography and they can be used uh, the way that Ansel Adams did too. Of course, since I didn't get to be on top of the car, I wasn't able to make the same image that Ansel Adams made of that church. Also, he was using a large format camera, so you can uh, transform or uh, distort uh, the perspective more than with a regular camera like the ones I have with me uh, right now. But that's okay. I still wanted to go there, even if the image it wasn't as good as his, or even if the image wasn't good at all. Because as I said many times in this channel, and I know I repeat myself, but I believe it's a very important message. I like to go to uh, locations where uh, photographers I admire uh, made some of their best images because I get to see what they saw, I get to kind of understand what they were thinking when they made the image. I think it's a very good way to learn from those uh, photographers. As I said, I'm at Bodega Bay now. Uh, somehow I ended up at this park, it's called Doran Regional Park. I had to pay $7 to enter here. I didn't realize uh, about that until it was too late. But now that I'm here, I should take advantage. Uh, it looks pretty, so I might be able to make some uh, good images around here. So let's do it. Oh, it's windy. I'm setting the camera up here. Take a long exposure of that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. There are a bunch of crabs around here and there was a seal just right there, but it's gone now. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, so you can see I'm doing the long exposures without the cable because it doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. So I'm limited to just 30 seconds. That's the longest the camera will go, but here it should be fine, I should be fine with uh, 30 seconds, but I need to get a new cable.
Well, so this place uh, turned out to be much cooler than I thought. The seven bucks were completely worth it. Now I'm gonna drive home and hopefully I'll be stopping a few times uh, if I see something on the way there that I wanna make a photograph of. I will if I can because these roads are very narrow and there is usually not much space on the shoulder so we'll see if I'm able to but hopefully I will. I love the landscape here so yeah. While I might be able to create uh, good images from the side of the road, that's not going to be the case for video. It could be a little bit chaotic, no story or no anything, just random clips from random locations. So I'm just going to call it a video for today. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to show you whatever image I make on the way there, if any. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.